Hello, so here is video number two of the random things that I've been up to. <laughs> and as you can see, I've been making little mushrooms. <laughs> um, so yes, I got these little wooden mushrooms from from the internet. You know, little, you can get them various places. It's a thing, wooden mushrooms, tiny ones. So I got a couple sets of mushrooms. And I started off painting them. I wanted to make a set of little toadstools. So, as you can see, I tried to paint these semi-realistically. Painted the gills. It's not super easy to see the gills here. Um, yeah, the kind of umber um, effect on the cap, the gradient because they look like that in nature. I know usually you see pictures and they're super red, but as they age, they will often go quite orangey on the top. So yes, I did a set of three kind of semi-realistic. Well, these mushrooms came in sets of six. So there's six different shapes as well, which is cool. So you can see there's a fatty, kind of a same height, but thinner. And then there's a little stumpy. So I did the three toadstools, then I took another set, like a full set, which is these. So there's one of each shape here on the um, from this set. And what I did was I used polymer clay to sculpt um, bits. So <laughs> the first thing I did was I gave them all a butt. <laughs> Because this is like after the after the pet rocks, and I really enjoyed making the little booties, so I sculpted them each a little a little um <laughs> curvy bump, and then I gave them little feet, and then mind you this the spots are all are all um sculpted and everything because these were smooth they were completely smooth mushrooms so. After I got done sculpting the booty and the feet, I realized I just made it look more like phallic. And I didn't mean to, but it looked, they, they looked so much like little dongs with little, you know, um, little scrotums hanging. But they were supposed to be feet. I was thinking like, <laughs> I was being inspired by like, you know, the little mushrooms in Fantasia. And they're just scooting around. They've got little feet. Um, I was thinking kind of like along those lines. Of course, I didn't like take a reference or anything. Anyway, I accidentally, oh, sorry, I hit the camera there. I accidentally made them look a bit more phallic than I intended. But then, then I added the spots and then they just looked phallic and warty, which is a problem. I'm not, I'm, I wasn't doing myself any favors at this stage. So then I added like a bit of foliage stuck to each one. And that definitely helped. It helped break up the um, silhouette, let's call it. And anyway, so basically they're wood mushrooms, right? And I covered them with clay, sculpted bits, smoothed it all out. It's got a little booty. Um, then after all the polymer clay was baked and hard, I, um, uh, yeah, poor choice of words there. After the polymer clay was baked, I um, painted them. And as you can see, like with the other ones where I, I just painted the gills on the mushrooms, on these I actually sculpted gills to give them a bit more definition. So, and I like, I made their little feet muddy because I thought that was appropriate. So, yeah, these six are all sculpted and I'll just show you more of them. Do, 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 do. He's got a hair hanging off his bum, don't we all? Do, 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 do. And I was also going to make like a little smile in there, but I thought I made the eyes and they just look so cute with just eyes. The purple ones have a bit of iridescent on the caps too. Yeah, so I made the eyes and I was just like, I'm, if I try to make, you, you basically get one shot, right? <laughs> one shot when you're making a face. Um, you can go over it, but there's always going to be a bump or whatever. So 
one shot I thought I'm just gonna leave it I'm going to you know quit all in my head not put a little smile and I quite like their little eyes the way they are just eyes this guy's a little bit crooked check out that booty chunky boot boot and these ones are brown and again I finished them with a glossy um, a glossy what do you call it varnish because I thought it looked appropriate having them be a little bit slimy this one's got a little extra sculpted shroom on him so yes that is what I did with the mushrooms I know I'm only showing you what how many here six of eight nine ten eleven twelve so there's three that I haven't finished um, I was kind of in the middle of painting them and I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it. So <laughs> there's three, three I haven't done yet, but I think I'm going to buy more of these because I, I really like them. And then I'll hoard them all as I do, or I'll put them on my folksy shop. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I think at least, at least one of these will be finding a new home in that swap I mentioned in the other video. So, I'm going to leave it here and show you these guys one last time and say goodbye for now.